All right, let's do the top three. This is the most exciting part of the stream, at least for me, probably for a lot of the viewers it's when their robot gets on screen. But in third place, we have Team 183, who, in my opinion, designed the coolest looking robot. Team 183, or should I say Kevin, is actually our highest ranked solo team. And the fact that he designed this in three days, I find just completely insane. Nick, can you kick us off? Yeah. Um, so this robot's just beautiful. Lots of mechanum wheels. Uh, they're going to put Vex Pro out of stock uh, with how many mechanum wheels they have on there. But hey, that's cool. Um, their renders look really nice. Uh, I wouldn't have thought of doing that style sorting mechanism uh, with every mechanum wheel known to man. Um, yeah, it looks really good. What do you think, Nate? Um, so yeah, this one was definitely a really creative design. Um, I do like how everything is auto-centering and how their feeder works. And I think that all around this one would, I like to see this one actually built. Yeah. Uh, what do you think, Patrick? Yeah, definitely agree. Um, I think it's interesting how, um, like, the, me the mechanism wheels can feed up through and let the smaller balls up into the upper hopper. Um, like, that's a pretty cool way of dealing with the sorting. Yeah. I, and when I look at this robot, I don't know about you guys, but it just screams 118 to me. They have their those curves in the square tubing, which is just something you just don't see on FRC robots. Uh, not quite white and gold, but kind of like a orange kind of deal. I don't know. Just when I see this, I just 118 is every that's all that comes to mind. But you know what? That is definitely not a bad thing um, for a robot. All right. So I know there's two teams right now watching, really wondering who we're going to talk about next. And in second place, we have Team 296, who designed a very ambitious dual intake robot, which looks very effective. Designed by Nick and Jack, this robot really impressed me. Yeah, so this one is one of my favorites. Um, it's all around just looks great. They have two intakes, one on each side. They're full length uh, intakes that go into their barbecue system, as they called it, which channeled into their two different shooters. Uh, their CAD was very detailed. As you can see, their lightning looks very nice. Um, all around, lightning looks done very well. Same within the box tube. Um, all around, just really effective design by these guys. What do you think, Patrick? Um, I got to mention their sweet looking swerve drive. Um, yeah, yeah, this is like a great, well built robot. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, I, I love it. Um, the, the feeder looks good, you know, not just one, but two full width intakes with swerve. It, it's really nice. I think it's also really smart how they separated the two game pieces. Um, and their climate climber mechanism also looks like it would be really effective while maintaining a lot of simplicity. So really good job from them. Yeah, no, just very nice looking robot. And it's funny, I, I mentioned that the last robot looked a lot like Team 118. When I looked at this robot, I go, wow, that looks like a Team 114 robot. And then I ended up checking who designed this robot. And um, at least one, I'm not sure about the second, at least one of the members is on Team 1114. So definitely the design style carried over here. Um, and it really, truly impresses. And uh, they know who won, but I'll tell you, 157, they did it again. For their second straight catathon, the team consisting of Rafi, Isaac, and Ramsey created an incredible robot, giving them the crown in this event. There's not a picture up yet, but believe me, their 254 style robot with its massive hopper and impressive turret put them above the rest. Patrick, what do you think? Um, I really like this robot. The, I can really see it working well in real life. Um, it has this clever mechanism that uh, like continuously rotates with like compliant um, material to sweep the smaller balls away. So they actually only go for the, the rocks, which are the bigger balls, um, which simplifies all the stuff that they have to handle. And they can hold a bunch of rocks. And um, overall, it's like um, simpler, but very well done. And I could really see it working. Yeah, uh, same here. I, it's just a really sleek design. The strategy is very, very well thought out. And they have everything catted down to the smallest detail. They have 
the writing that's on the West Coast product pneumatic wheels actually on the pneumatic wheels. So that that takes a decent <laughs> amount of time, and I personally wouldn't have gone that far. So major props. Yeah, I mean, this one, it's hard to look at it and not think of 254. Everything was catted really well. Their intake, the little mechanism that kicks out the balls that are not the rocks but the oars, that was really a nice touch. Just to help make sure they're not getting anything in the way. And just all around, it was a great design from them. Yeah, just incredible robot once again from 157. They've been doing this over and over again from, I think, the third or fourth catathon. They've been in the top three. Just very, very impressive. All right, Tyler, but don't go away yet because we have a giveaway. Yep, we do have our uh, last set of giveaways. Uh, by the way, that's for the uh, fun T-shirt. And by the way, uh, thanks again to uh, all of our uh, supporters uh, for the awesome giveaways. Of course, Sword Drive Specialties, Aussie Boards, uh, Board Play All Day, uh, and Fun for all the great uh, uh, stuff and the giveaways for it. Definitely appreciated uh, for that as well. So we're giving away the uh, fun T-shirt uh, that we have up on here. Uh, so once again, uh, the keyword was just fun. That's easy enough, right? Everybody can remember <laughs> that. So fun was the keyword in the winner. For that is going to be Silverhawk 676. Silverhawk 676 is a winner. Uh, guys, this is a full sweep by subscribers. This has not happened in a long time. <laughs> uh, but a full sweep rigged. by subscribers. So lots of rigged emotes in chat. It's clear that we have rigged it for only our subscribers to win. Uh, but congratulations to that. What an incredible catathon, everybody. Fantastic teams. 157, congratulations. Uh, and don't forget the top three teams will uh, reach out to you uh, to let you know in regards to what you're getting uh, for your top gifts. Uh, of course, 157 will get the choice of those three uh, different items. So very cool stuff. Yep. Congratulations to Team 157 for winning the 7th F4 Catathon. And thank you to everyone who has watched. This was another massive turnout, and we can't wait to be back in the winter for another one. Thank you, really thank you, to all of our judges for the time and dedication. Don't forget that if you want more first robotics in your life, make sure you hit that follow or subscribe button to fun on both Twitch and YouTube. So Tyler, I think it's time to recognize those who pledge their support with tips, bits, and subscriptions. Yeah, let's give some big shout outs. Thank you, everybody who uh, stepped up. Of course, we, we do this for you guys, but we do need uh, monetary funds to keep running. We run a very shoestring budget uh, to keep us making shows. So thank you so much uh, to McKern uh, for a Tier 1 sub, Emacs 0773, Tier 1, Nicholas 701 with six months support. Thanks, Nick. Uh, Elan 9421 for 16 months says, You tell them Diggle, uh, something like that. Uh, Jiggle with a Tier 1 sub, Gray Fan Delta, 20 months of support. Thank you. Macho Taco 456, Tier 1 sub, Sushi Dev with some bits. Uh, see Sherman with, uh, uh, sorry, six months total support from uh, Colin there. Thanks, Colin. Uh, Stormcrow449 with a Tier 1 sub. Uh, Noah G449, five months support. Robert2168, Tier 1 sub. Commaster1018, eight months support. Says they might be in the top 11, but they are well known outside of the region. Very <laughs> makes sense back uh, with the context of the 11 seed team. Uh, Owen, uh, <laughs> calling out, uh, Owen uh, Koi known uh, with a Tier 1 sub. Uh, Pran Chovilla. Uh, with a tier one sub, Dirt Bikers just coming in right now with 100 bits and C McBride 166 with 42 bits. And of course, if we missed you on here, I do apologize. Uh, sometimes our uh, tracker will miss people on occasion. So thank you everybody for helping keep fun loud, live, and independent. Um, do want to uh, also mention as well too that after the stream gets done, if you want to stick around, uh, we're going to go raid a fellow fun host who's streaming some Planet Side Two right now. His name is Thino TV. He's a cartoon robot on screen. So if you see that in a little bit, uh, do me a favor. If you do go, just spam the crap out of his channel um, and just say you're from Fun, and you know just type random crap in his channel, and he'll he'll enjoy that. So go ahead and do that once the stream is over here. All right, and to end it off. Give a big thank you to our giveaway sponsors, Aussie Boards, Swerve Drive Specialties, Wordplay All Day, and Fun. On behalf of myself and the F4 Catathon Planning Committee, I'd like to thank all teams for their amazing CAD creations and everyone who has viewed or supported the Catathon. It really means a lot. Thanks to Fun and our producer, Tyler, for their support and promotion of the stream once again. We really appreciate you guys. And we'll see you before the 2020 FRC kickoff with another Catathon and right here with more content from First Updates Down. Talk to you then. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now.
thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent. 